to, I will talk about uh, similarity-based uh, clustering of uh, uh, Arabic, pre-modern Arabic names. I mean, this uh, work has been done during my work at the Saxon Academy of Science and Literature in the context of Biblioteca Arabica project. Currently, I'm working at Hamburg, but we continue collaborating with colleagues at the Biblioteca Arabica, and this is joint work with the team at the Biblioteca Arabica and mainly with uh, Dr. Kenitz, Daniel Kenitz. So in th at the beginning, let me uh, introduce the, the project or the database that we are using. It's called Khizana's project or Khizana database. It's a comprehensive uh, PO and bibliographical reference work on agents, uh, persons, works related to Arabic manuscripts focusing on the period between the 12th and 19th centuries. Actually, we integrate data from three main resources, uh, main sources, uh, manuscripts, catalogs, in print and uh, online. So we have, we are doing a lot of work on OCR. We also integrate uh, text from reference work, biographical and bibliographical, and then uh, manuscript notes. Uh, and then we model all these data in a graph uh, database. For now, we have almost uh, 103,000 persons, 97,000 works, 94,000 manuscripts, and 71,000 uh, manuscript notes. Uh, I mean, this is like how we work. I mean, this figure illustrates uh, our data integration process. We have different uh, sources, and each source lists some uh, uh, biographical uh, information, some persons, and maybe also some works, and information about the author or scribe. We collect this data in the graph database, but the problem, or like the main challenge that it could be like the same person mentioned in different sources with different text. Like our uh, mission or our goal is to uh, cluster all these people or like the references of the same person into one cluster and refer to the same entry. So if source one mentioned person X and source two mentioned also person X, we want to collect them in one entity or, or one cluster and refer to the same entity. We started with persons, but we are going to work also on uh, works and books and etc. So it looks like a very straightforward uh, uh, like task, but it's really not, and because the pre-modern Arabic names has very uh, specific structure, it's not like modern names, where we have first name and family name. We have like specific structure where each name is split into almost six uh, parts. At the beginning, we have the name, the personal name, which is called ism in Arabic. Then we have the nasab, where we have the information about the father and the father and the, fa the father, like mainly the male instructors. Then we have the nisma, which is descriptive names of the same uh, person, described tribal, religious, professional, or geographical information or other affiliations. Then we have the kunya, the patronic name that has the form of the father of. Then shuhra, this is the name of renown, and then the uh, lakab. It's really very complicated. I tried to make very simple example uh, here with this, all this information. This is nice for now, but uh, uh, the idea like uh, editors, author, they don't use the full name. Maybe they just use some parts like Shuhra, for example. In this example, it's Ibn Sadr din Or use, they don't uh, like write the whole chain of ancestors, just maybe the father and then the Shuhra. So they use in combination uh, of this uh, information. Uh, and our goal is to find the matching between uh, people. Uh, here's an example of two uh, manuscripts. I mean, uh, the one on the right is from uh, uh, Zirkli, where it just referred to the same person as, as one word, as his Shohra. Uh, 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 and here is, on the left side, the name of like the name of the book written by this uh, uh, person with the full name, where we have Shaykh al-Islam Ibrahim al ligai where we have also the honorary uh, title and the full name. And our actually, they are the same person, and our goal is to match this information. So, uh, and in our database, they are listed in, in this uh, format, like they are different uh, uh, persons. 
according to their uh, sources and we want to make them refer to the same uh, entity. So what is the proposed workflow? It's uh, very straightforward. We start with uh, pre-processing uh, all names and then create uh, a graph uh, representing uh, the graph, a similarity graph, then try to cluster this graph and in the end uh, performing some manual assessment and uh, correction to correct the uh, wrong uh, results. Pre-processing, it's uh, like very Arabic relevant uh, pre-processing steps. We try to normalize the text just to uh, increase the consistency and reduce uh, the variation between uh, like the different styles of writing, especially uh, Al-Hamza, and we perform also the vocalization, delete some stop words like the prince, the king, the hash, and then we go to graph cluster, uh, graph uh, uh, creation. I mean, we calculate the similarity between all people in the corpus. We create similarity matrix, and then we use some thresholding, uh, then we move to similarity graph. It looks like um, an easy step, but it's really not because we need to uh, decide which uh, similarity metric we need to use and what threshold we need to use. We use mainly three uh, categories of uh, similarity metrics that are token-based, uh, either with word or engrams. We use Jaggard index and Sorensen dice uh, metric, vector-based uh, similarity metrics with cosine similarity, mainly TFIDF and the edit distance, Levenstein, Hamming distance, Jaro, Winkler, and Radcliffe uh, of our help. Here are some examples. Here we have uh, two names. They differ just by the first name. Here Taqiyuddin, Shamsuddin could be like the same person or maybe like they are brothers. They have the same uh, uh, ancestors and the same uh, shuhra. We see here with Levenstein we got 91% similarity but with Jaggard it's like 75% and with Dice 86 here is like the same person, but there is transposition where the name is at the beginning in the second example, and in the first example, the name is like at the end of the name. We, since we have uh, this token overlap, we got with Jagat and Dice 100% uh, or one, on with TFIDF also 100%, but with Levenstein and Hamming distance, since we have transposition, the value is uh, low. We continue with other metrics, like here, we have two names, like one full name, and the second variation is just the shuhra. It's the same person. And we see it's like very problematic with Jaggard, it's 0 0.11, and with TFITF, 0 0.5. So it's very problematic. What, what is the best metric, and what is the best threshold? So our idea was to use uh, like variation of these metrics with uh, weighting. Like for each metric, we use some weight. Our uh, results are experimental for now. I can show you, uh, like, we use, for example, Jacquard with TFIDF, including Levenstein. I will browse the result at the end. Uh, after we build the similarity metrics, uh, matrix, we move uh, from, similarity, uh, from, graph, uh, from similarity graph to uh, clusters using Chinese whispers uh, uh, clustering algorithm. It's really a very fast algorithm, but it is not uh, deterministic for small uh, node number. In our case, we have enough nodes to, uh, to work with, so we use this algorithm to, uh, to do clustering. We used, uh, for evaluation, we used a subset from the Virtual Hill Museum uh, and Manuscripts Library with 3,000 names, 893 clusters, using homogeneity, completeness, V-measure, as uh, evaluation metrics, and for this set, we found out like TFIDF is the best uh, uh, metric with uh, 0 0.6 as uh, a threshold. But we still have some incorrect data, according to maybe because of the OCR or maybe the same person, the same we got the same name but in different period of time. So we still need some manual assessment. For this purpose, we developed an online tool where we have like manual annotators uh, to correct this data. Here we can see a list of clusters and here where the annotators can remove or add new name to the cluster. Finally, for future work, we are 
working to include machine learning in our uh, uh, pipeline by collecting training data manually. As you can see here, we have two uh, information about the same person and manual annotator will uh, assign if it is like the same person or not the same person. And at the end, we will collect some features like Jacquard, Unigrams overlap, Pygrams overlap, Levenstein, TFIDF, link rate, and we will feed all this information to machine learning model and use a random forest or support vector machine or maybe neural network to, us, to, like, to, uh, to classify if two uh, names are same person or not. Actually, this uh, method is very effectively with our experiment. Until now, we got like 96% uh, accuracy, so we hope that with more uh, training data, we'll get better uh, results. Thank you.